Anyone that talks about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam deserves to get slaughtered then. As many of you have already heard, a Syrian Australian Bishop, Mar Emanuel, was attacked on live during a sermon at his home church. Despite what you think of his theology in the Church of the East as a whole, we all stand with him in solidarity during this time, and condemn the disgusting act committed by one of the followers of the religion of peace. But unsurprisingly, many Muslims, and I will argue the majority, do not feel the same way in condemning the attack. Listen to this. What you're saying, my brother, and I'm with you, to a certain extent, bro. Because at the end of the day, okay, I'll be honest with you. At the end of the day, anyone that talks about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam deserves to get slaughtered then. Slaughtered, bashed, whatever you want to call it, okay, at the end of the day. And this kid, okay, at 15, 16 years old, had the had the alb, okay, had the had the iman, had the courage to go and do what he done. And at the end of the day, say what you want, talk what you want, do what you want. But that little kid is a soldier, okay. Allah yahmi ya rab. <coughs> the guts he had to do what he done, okay. Wallah, no man nowadays has, has an ounce of what he has. The ghira he has over his deen, yeah, my brother. That's why we should we should all, all strive to be like this kid and have, have that same ghira he has. Wallahi, wallahi, I'm jealous, jealous. I wake up myself today and I aspire myself compared to this kid. Allahu Akbar, ya akhi, Allahu Akbar. You might be wondering why such violent words or silence in condemning the attack from the followers of this peaceful religion. Well, because in almost all Islamic schools of jurisprudence, the punishment for blasphemy is death in most circumstances. And in some circumstances, an option is given to repent, convert to Islam, or another form of violent punishment. So the reason why so many Muslims are in support of this and other attacks is because according to the teachings of Islam, this perpetrator was just being a good Muslim. And in a sense, he was carrying out Sharia by punishing Marmari for committing blasphemy and speaking out against Muhammad.